Does climbing a hill or flying over a tall building allow you to fly higher than 400 feet or 120 meters? Well, yes and no. So let's get it sorted. I'm Ian and I play with drones and hello from the sunny Canaries for a week. But look, I had a really good discussion online with somebody this week who had posted some beautiful aerial pictures of a church and he was very proud of the fact that he'd been given permission and had climbed up to the roof of the church in order to get even higher and take even better pictures. When I pointed out this wasn't actually the case, my goodness me did I not learn very quickly the amount of confusion uh, that there is out there around this area of the rules. Lots of people thinking yes they absolutely gained the extra height rights, people chiming in about climbing to the top of hills in order to get extra um, uh, height allowance and the like. So look, I take this opportunity to just clarify the rules and tell you once and for all exactly what happens when you are on a hill or flying over a very tall building. Now first off let's talk about the fly app display which is actually the source of a lot of this confusion. The fly app shows the height of the drone relative to the takeoff point. Not because that's the relevant information for you to actually make your flying decisions from, but simply because it's the easiest for the software to calculate and display. But sadly, pretty much everywhere in the world, the rules on height are based on the altitude from the ground, not relative to the takeoff point, which means the indicated altitude on the fly app is only useful if you're flying on dead flat ground. So, what if you are not flying on flat ground? If you're flying over a building, for instance. In the UK, the rules and the drone code are actually remarkably clear on this particular point. If you are flying over a very tall building, more than 105 meters tall, then you are permitted to fly up to 15 meters above that building. But in practice, that gives you pretty much nothing at all because 105 meters is a pretty tall building. There aren't that many of them in the UK. A five-story building is only around 50 feet or 15 meters high. In fact, there are only two churches or cathedrals in the UK. I had to look it up. St Paul's and Salisbury are the only two that are more than 105 meters in the UK. So pretty much in all, for all other buildings, you're not going to get any additional height allowance because that rule only kicks in if the building is more than 105 meters high. But even then, you only get use of that rule if the owner of the building has tasked you with a specific job. If you're just flying for recreation, tough, you don't get that at all. So, the height of a building gives you pretty much buggery bollocks in, ter in terms of extra height allowance. Certainly in the USA, you do get additional height uh, over the building. The FAA website m makes it fairly clear, but not exactly clear. But in the UK, definitely, you do not get any additional height allowance. Whether or not you've taken off from the top of the building or the bottom of the building, if you're flying over, doesn't matter. It's always still 400 feet, 120 meters from the ground. So what about hills and mountains? Well, again, the rules are actually very, very clear on here. No matter, again, it's, it's still about this 400 foot or 120 meter distance from the ground to wherever the drone is, not relative to your takeoff point. So again, no matter where you're standing, if the ground is rising up, if you're in the bottom of a valley, say, and you're flying uphill, then you can continue to ascend. And if you're keeping, if it's a very steep hill, you can fly more than 400 feet or 120 meters from your takeoff point, as long as you're less than 400 feet above the ground. Conversely, if you're standing on the top of a hill and the ground is falling down all around you, then you can't keep flying at 400 feet as the ground is uh, falling away. You've got to descend as well. And look, these rules are here just really to avoid a collision with an aircraft or more realistically, sometimes a helicopter. You think about it, especially if you're in a touristy area, if you're on top of a cliff or on a hill and you're flying way out, there could be aircraft that are actually lower than you. So. That's why the rules exist. Hopefully that's cleared it up. Anyway, look, very quick video for you today because I thought it was a, a clear rule, but um, yeah, sort of rule that if you didn't know about it, then you wouldn't know about it. But anyway, now you do. So, little thumbs up as ever because that always helps the cause. Whatever you're doing, wherever you are, I hope you're staying safe and sane and as ever. Until next time, you have fun. Happy flying. <laughs>